So I never thought the day would come when somebody asked me to do a Ray U7 Goku deck profile. Realm of the Gods is literally my third favorite set because it's TOP, obviously, Universal Onslaught, Realm of the Gods, then it's Cross Spirits. I know, I know. I just want to say shout out to Bradley Jones all the way from the UK. He sent me this kind message right here to just to ask me, can I do a Ray U7 Goku deck profile? And honestly, I, I'm excited. Intro. I'm this up in my sway. Stay in my bag. I got plenty for days. Chief and that's all. Don't come with no haze. Drew y'all on me. It wet like a tray. I did it to pay. No all the steppers. No kidding to play. Look at my team. See all of us made. Came a long way for minimum wage. Hey. What's going on, y'all? Evan U7 here. Back with another video. And I am excited. I don't know why I did. What? what? So we get down to it. We have the leader side. You swing. Draw one. You burst three. You have use, uh, seven or more U7, you'll tap and draw one, or your life is at four or less, right? Very simple. On the Awakened side, has a permanent, you can't work cards on drop. Draw one card, mill up to three. Um, activate main, spark in 20, you add one rate U7 card from your drop to your hand. That, that is so broken. Okay, let's get on to the battle cards. We won 40 Android 17s. Y'all know what it does. If it mills, it plays. You draw, you burst one, and you draw one card. You play, and you can also use it for the Zenkai area. Next, we have four of the Sun Gohan Ultimate Essence. You want to be able to search for your rate U7 stuff, and it costs a four or less. Obviously, you can do a combo with the Vegeta here when you uh, add a uh, combo from a, a skillless, a card that's skillless. Make sure it's U7. Um, use this auto to draw a card. But yeah, you won uh, four of these for sure. Really great card. Next, you have Sun Goku, Sign of Mastery. So I'm really hoping to play this card next set because a lot of stuff in this new set has Indestructible. So anything that hits zero gets um, sent to the drop area automatically. And he's a Negan. You draw one card, if it hit the battle card hits zero. So I cannot wait to play these on guards. And you draw one card. And it's a 19K. Yeah. Next, you have three Android 18s. Uh, stalwart, stalwart assistance, same thing as the Gohan. The only difference is that you don't combo with a skillless card. But with this card in particular, even with the Gohan, I searched for my U7 Frieza super combos, and you of course put this card in Zenkai Energy because I, I don't like milling my uh, super combos. No one should like milling those. Next, we run four Android 17 for the Universe Survival Double Strike Sparking. You attack after one Ray U7 card. Um, to your hand and activate main if limit one if you have five or more you seven cards um you drop this card from here so basically it's a top one free double strike well, it's not really free but you, you know what i'm saying all right next we run four golden freezers uh for the universe survival dual attack spark is seven weeks play you make one card of uh by 15k and he's a dual attack and if, you have, if you have five or more you seven cards and your gokus are uh rare you seven goku Damn, yeah, you get to play him, boy. He's a dual attack. Really great card. Of course, we run the four U7 Freezes. U7 uh, see, uh, Freezes combination. Spark and five. Draw a card. Pretty simple. And then we got the four Android 18s with Reckless Abandon. Obviously, you can tap one and play this. Next a card. And you can also pitch one card from your hand and play this from your drop to the game. Really great card. And he's a 15k beater. Next, we run D3 Sun Gohans Universe Seven of Challengers. It's a super combo card. I call it the super combo leader card, right? A little inside joke. But your leader card gets plus a 1k power for the battle. That 1k does a lot in the game. Next, we run three Universe Survive Vegetas. When this card is played, you draw one card and choose up to two of your points by a card. It gets minus 15, uh, ignore barrier, and sparking 10. Um, if your lead card is a mono color U7, play this card from your hand. And you get to draw a card because he's a 20k crit. So, it's really, it's a really great card. Next, we have D, two Kaiokens. I think this deck, I made it, I made this deck particularly for the next set because of garlic. I think garlic Jr. is going to be a threat. But yeah, so you you wipe the board by 20k. Y'all know what it does. Tap two Norn Barrier. Um, and then you can make something by 25k. Next one, the, the one Android 17, Rebel Reinforcements. This is to support the one drops that I run. Obviously, is it also a U7 card in the gate? Next, we run two Brawly Chrono Retributions. One combo I like to do is you tap two, 
play a uh, rebel in your enforcement, play a brawly, and they have to show your hand again. Or your opponent have to show their hand again. So you want to get rid of super combos, anything that's threatening. Yeah. And of course, we want D1 of SS4 Gogeta Donable Might. I feel like, like I said, we're here to neg stuff on board. 30k, naked something on the field, right? Nega battle card. It's a deflect, dub strain your opponent's warps a card from their hand. And you get plus 5k um, to uh, your lead at the end of your turn. Really great card. And you have to have at least make sure you have the requirements, sand cards in your energy area. We have two shins. This is to stop the. When I say stop, it's just to stop the eight drop Gogeta in the sense that they can't attack for the turn. So we run two of these, and it's also U7, and you draw a card. Next, you have Freezer or Roaming Omnipotent. If your leader card is a U7 card, and you have a U7 Z battle card, and play with this energy uh, card. So this card you hit him by two. When this card is played, you draw one card and choose a 20 points battle cards, and it gets minus 15k power for the turn. A really great card. And next we have the Sun Goku Divine Presence. Literally my favorite reprint of what they made out of this. We run two of these. Either do attack, deflect, sensor beam, and you get to search your deck for skills. And even though you might not have skills in this deck, you can still use your deck to search, um, look through it, see what you have. Next we run three Sun Goku's um, Ultra Mastery. Deflect, double strike, do attack, spark your 20, your opponent discard. Your opponent revealed their hand, and they can discuss, uh, discard a card. Angel costs seven or less. Um, not only that, but it when it's played, it negates everything by 35k. This deck is all about negging. Next set, boy. Next, we have the one of Unending Awakening. We have the um, is a sensor being a gate. Text the opposition for the free, uh, free blocker. And then we have the one of King Vegeta Imposing Present. Next, something by 10. Anything that your opponent attacks, we gets minus five for the battle. And for the turn. Next, we run three. Three after image spark in the gate, plus 40k, minus 10 on one of the cards. Battle cards, of course. Next, we have two Koisi Kai's. You know, they try to play something. Um, play get part left up and two cards from their hand. Um, choose two cards from their hand to be exact. And warp it. Sorry, that was my other phone. I got two phones. And next, we have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Unbridled Power. Y'all know what he does. Do attack. Triple strike. Deflect. Blow up the field. Your boy lose minus 5k and you burn a life. Say what? <laughs> All right, let's get out of Zenkai. We run the Ultra Instincts on Goku. I'm thinking Onslaught. Do attack. Um, Deflect and he's bare. Of course, at the end of the turn, he withstands. We don't really focus on his other abilities because we don't want the Warrior Universe 7 build. Next, we run the three Vegeta Rush Tech SS Blue. This card is really great. If you have four or more Z Energy, switch this card to active mode, it gets 10k power, double strike, and barrier for the turn. This card attack, choose up to one mono ray card with 5k power from your drop in the combo area and the skills and get it for the turn. Additionally, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or unit sends and it gets negative 15k power for the turn. So, like I was saying earlier, you use this with the, um, you use th that card with the go hunt so you could do something like this and then you can choose any u7 uh, card from the drop it becomes skill so you gain that draw power nice little tech that my buddy ernest and my teammate taught me and of course we run the ss4 gogeta deflect double strike when this card is played choose one saying come on this card and this card gains better for the turn additionally if your opponent has four more life deal one damage we don't worry about the other one because we don't run the pan leader and of course we run the two SS Blue Vegeta surmounting the impossible. Take an extra life if you want to go out for a game. That's what I did last time. All right, here comes the extra deck. Yeah. We run two of my uh, King Piccolo's underline. Uh, really simple. Anything like D Magic or something after Queen of Life. And you get to draw a card. Really good stuff. Next, we have Raditz the Oppressor. This is to deal with these sensor beings that you see in play. Of course, we have the one of Bearer's Ball. Colossus of being played 15 care or less. We can uh, tap one. Um, I don't mind tapping one. Um, for life, if you have a multicolor card in your energy, which we don't. So we do tap one to play it. Next, we run the Shoe, uh, Shoe King's Piccolo's Underline. Obviously, this is deal with Trunks Jita, because that is still a thing. Stop those one drops from being played. Next, we run the one of... Rouge ally, anything costs up uh, three or less. It's sent to warp instead. You tap two, send to warp. 
stop their play. We do have these strategies of Universe 7. We want to give Goku or Vegeta something that we feel that's threatening on the board where a lot of stuff gets removed. But Overrun is a thing, so we get a U7 card. That's a red sand barrier. Yeah. Next, we have testing the opposition. Another negate blocker. Extra one in the extra area. Extra area. Extra deck, just in case. Next, we have Room of the Gods. Ultra Instinct. If, uh, if your leader in energy are all red, choose up to one of your cards and get some uh, plus 10k power for the battle. And obviously, choose one if it's your turn. Choose up to one of your battle, uh, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Make it by 30k. If it's your opponent's turn, you draw one card and choose up to one of your cards and get plus k uh, plus plus 5k power for the battle. So you draw one and it's a sense of being. So it's like, damn, such a beautiful card. Next, we're on two max coming out of highs. Two max powers Kamehameha's. You warp something that's bigger than their energy. We run two of these. This card is really good. Get rid of a secret if you can. Like the sale max. <coughs> and then we run the two black smoke dragons. Obviously, you could draw two cards. You could warp a card going barrier. Or choose up to a unison. Energy cards of two. Uh, with speci specified cost of two or less. And seven field markers. And send it to the owner of this one. Well, that is it for the Radio 7 Goku deck profile. I'm actually excited to see what happens next. Anyway, have a happy Sunday, and remember, the Lord loves you. Bye. Wow, that was such a cool deck list. Almost as cool as my little tail. Now, why don't you make sure to subscribe to Evan U7 on YouTube and Instagram. And Instagram is Evan U7 Glover. Bye. Oh, oh, and it's crazy.